Welcome to our stunning 1956 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing. This is chassis number 225. It is a 1956 Gullwing, which they made 1,400 total 300 SL Gullwing variants. In 56, they made just over 300 cars. The 300 SL Gullwing's DNA comes from racing. That's one of the coolest things about this car is it wasn't meant to be a road car out of the gate. Obviously, 1,400 of these were produced uh, for the road, but you have to go back to where it all began. Mercedes-Benz, they started with uh, the 300 SL uh, as a race car, and that's probably why it's such a great car to drive. It was all built with lightweight, high performance, and handling in mind. There's endless amounts of races that the 300 SL participated in, um, lots of wins. It was just one of those cars that you could push to the limits and it would get you to the finish line and it would get you there fast. It's absolutely an icon on the street, it's an icon on the track, and that's why we love them. They're so drivable, get in it, go, and it will get you there every single time. My journey started with this car in 2016 when I went and visited the past owner who was a longtime member of the 300 SL Gullwing group. Uh, he had this 56 Gullwing uh, as well as a 1960 300 SL Roadster uh, finished in white on red. When I first visited this car, it was finished in its original silver exterior, but had a red interior. When it was born at the factory, uh, it was born silver with a uh, blue interior. Um, we bought this car in 2020 and started a complete restoration with Coachworks Restoration in Victoria, British Columbia, who all the staff was trained by Rudy Konacek, longtime 300 SL restorer who did well over a hundred of these cars, um, you know, starting in the mid 70s and all the way up to his retirement uh, in 2018. Every 300 SL has a body stamp. It has a body tag on the inside of uh, the vehicle, has a motor tag, it has a motor stamp, it has a chassis stamp, a chassis tag, the left axle, the right axle, the rear end, and the transmission along with a, a frame sequence stamp, all of which match the original data card which we got from the Mercedes-Benz Classic Center, which if, uh, if you have a data card, you have all the production information, what the original colors were, what the original options were, and exactly what configuration it was built in new and verifying all the numbers that I just listed on the car. So this is what we would call an entirely numbers matching car. End to end, every single number matches the original uh, data card or birth certificate or production uh, certificate from new. Um, our goal with this car was to completely disassemble it and do what a lot of people call a nut and bolt restoration. Uh, but it's a complete body off restoration. The body came off the chassis, the motor came out, the transmission came out, all the suspension uh, came off, and we started from scratch. So all metal work uh, was done at Coachworks Restoration, all the interior, uh, motor, trans, everything was rebuilt uh, when it was uh, restored. Uh, our choice in colors on this was to keep the original DB180 exterior color, uh, but we opted for a tan interior and we equipped it with uh, two sets of seat cushions. In here is a plaid set of seat cushions with uh, the green highlights, and then we have a tan set of seat cushions that matches the car's rest of interior. Options that you could get on a 300 SL Gullwing uh, from the factory was the Rudge style knockoff wheels. Uh, we did add these Rudge wheels. This car was not born with them. We have the original set of uh, five lug wheels that come with the car. You have to change the axle spindles and everything, uh, which also come with it. So you can put it back to the original configuration if you want, or leave it as we have fitted it with uh, the more sporty look of the Rudge knockoff wheels. So that's one option you could get from the factory. Uh, this is originally a Euro spec car. It was sold new in Rome, Italy, 
and then resided in Pennsylvania with Roger from 1993 or 94 all the way through uh, to our, us purchasing it in 2020. It does have a radio. We put luggage in, so there's a two-piece luggage set that is made by a company in New York called Terrace Cherison. Terrace is one of the best at uh, luggage sets for any vintage car, and certainly with the 300 SLs, he does one heck of a job. We added the NSL Sport Cam to the motor. So on the aluminum cars, they came with an NSL uh, Sport Cam and the uh, adjustable suspension, sport suspension as they called it. I was going on the Colorado Grand and I drove it 300 kilometers on the first day of the Colorado Grand. Uh, we did clear film protect the whole car before we sent it off, which has now been removed, but wanted to get out there and get some real driving miles on the car and make sure it's sorted out completely, that there's no mechanical issues. We've added another 150 kilometers to it since uh, the Grand ended, so in total, I think we've added five or 600 kilometers to the car since uh, the restoration was completed, which we call shakedown miles. So miles to be added to make sure that everything's functioning the way it should. Um, this, uh, this car is probably one of the most spectacular restorations I've ever seen. Every last detail is exactly the way it was when it left the factory, all the gauges and whatnot have been rebuilt to new specification. They're exactly as they were when the car left the factory new. Uh, fit and finish, all of, your, all of your gaps in your door and your hood and your trunk is super, super correct. All the chrome is, you know, concourse quality, best of the best uh, chrome. Uh, we removed the overriders over the bumper uh, from the factory. Uh, they had these upright overriders uh, that uh, were on the bumper. The Eurospec cars came without them, so we made sure to keep uh, keep the overriders off. So you would see those on the front bumper right here. It gives it a much cleaner look. Um, so that was a choice that we made, certainly something if you wanted to add back, it's easy to do. Every single component on this car has been redone, rebuilt, replaced. Whatever needed to be done uh, was done. So not only what you see on the outside is restored, but everything on the internals is restored to perfection. Um, this car is gonna come with a complete uh, documented history of the entire restoration from the day we got it, day we disassembled it, all the metal work showing that the car in raw metal, you can see there's no filler. Um, it's absolutely as it was when it left the factory as a brand new car. Uh, and that's the biggest difference in the delta in price between this car and m maybe some others that you're looking at. Uh, this one should be at the top of the market. It's the best of the best. And we know from start to finish, this one is done to the highest, highest level. And we have all the documentation, all the photos, all the receipts, and well over a million dollars into the restoration uh, that we're happy to share with any, uh, any potential purchaser. Anytime we get a car out of the restoration shop, what, uh, what we pride ourselves and more so the restorers on is the correctness of the engine bay. Uh, looking inside any engine bay, there's a lot of liberties that restorers will take or people that are tidying up a car and they're you know, using fasteners, clamps, or materials that weren't used in period. Uh, and this one, when you look inside the engine bay, it's just really inspiring when you see every single material that's being used, all the hoses, you know, the brake fluid uh, reservoir that the color of the brake fluid lid is exactly what it was when it was new. All of the stickers, every single hose clamp, um, every single item is CAD plated or painted or black oxide, whatever material it was when it left the factory. You can compare photos from in period to this today and it's absolutely correct. Um, you know, there's on the intake manifold back in, uh, in the 90s, it was very common that people would polish the intake manifold and it, you know, popped like a piece of jewelry inside the engine bay. And, you know, now we're seeing more and more people trying to do it the way it was, not taking those liberties with uh, materials that weren't used in uh, period. Uh, the intake on this one, is aluminum, it's been vapor blasted. It looks like it's painted, but it's not. It's raw aluminum that uh, has been vapor blasted to get its, uh, its finish today. 
Uh, so the engine bay uh, is so correct, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. We're really uh, happy with the way this one finished off and I would say it's, you know, by and large the best restoration that we've ever had completed and certainly the longest restoration in terms of time, but the finished product is a landslide ahead of anything else I've ever seen. The 300 SL going interior is one of my favorite places to sit. It's uh, when you're sitting behind the wheel, you're looking at the dash, you have your big two gauges, your speedometer and your tachometer that are right in your line of sight. And uh, it just has such a cool dash with all the switches and, and gauges that are in front of you. They're just finished with such beauty. Uh, this one is equipped with a radio. The beauty of the interior from the speaker grills back here, all the hardware uh, on the dash, the chrome rings around all the gauges, the switches in chrome, the aluminum strip uh, inside on the dash here where your heating controls are. It's just such a beautiful interior. And this one, as you can see, it's got the gray headliner which is on the build sheet from new. Uh, so this is how it was uh, when it left the factory. And one thing our interior trimmer really prides himself on is how correct everything is on the inside of the in interior. If you see along here, all these uh, screws with all their fasteners, those are absolutely correct the way it was when it left the factory. When he trims the leather, where the leather switches to headliner, that position of the headliner starting is exactly the way it was when it left the factory. Once you're in the seat, you flash the car up, turn your fuel injection pump on, you hear it start. It's just such an incredible sound. There's your secondary fuel pump, the enrichner on this side. Turn your pump off. We'll let it warm up a little bit. your going door just like that and you're behind the cockpit and ready to drive now it's fine found its idle obviously being fuel injected uh, you're not having to feather the throttle and find uh, find that sweet spot the fuel injection system is gonna find it for you but uh, you're ready to go ready to drive so we're gonna switch out the seat cushions so you can see the other set that's finished in all leather. As you can just see, we just installed the leather set of seat cushions uh, in the car. It's a very easy thing to do. You just pop this seat cushion in and out. You can switch from your plaid set to your leather set in a matter of minutes. And then this seat back just uh, pops in and out. I think one thing to really have a look at is just the quality of uh, the leather, leather seat trimming. All of the stitching and everything on the leather is absolutely straight, correct. The proportions of the ribs are correct. Uh, the seams are all uh, trimmed exactly as it was from the factory. The side piping and everything is exactly as it was from the factory. Inside the seat cushions is the same materials that was used new. There's horsehair and, uh, and foam and you know springs and whatnot inside uh, the seat cushion, which is exactly as it was from new. So. Here's the second set of seat cushions, matches uh, the leather set in the back, let, matches the leather on your dash uh, and all your door sills and, and whatnot. The 300 SL is uh, an iconic car. Uh, I think these going doors are something that doesn't matter if you're a car person or not. If you say to somebody 300 SL, they may not know what it is. The moment you say the word going, the light goes off and, and everybody knows what it is. In the 50s, this car was so far advanced uh, than any other car uh, of its time. It was ultra fast, ultra reliable, easy to drive. And one, one thing that we always take note, when you enter somebody's collection, 
is look where the door is of the collection uh, and almost in every case the 300 SLs whether it be a Roadster or a Gullwing is parked near the front of uh, any collection. Why? Because they're so drivable. I think everybody that owns a 300 SL will attest to the fact that this is a car you can get into, drive, it's going to start, it's going to get you to the finish line. If you're on a rally it's one of the best cars uh, to rally in. I just did the 300 SL tour in one of our other uh, 300 SLs and there was 50 of them on the tour and you know they're just so reliable it's not uh, it's not a tour where you're being chased by a tow truck that's hauling back the the carcasses that don't make it to the finish line they're they're so fun in this car you know whether you're doing 50 miles an hour or 120 miles an hour it is just laser straight on the road it was so far ahead of anything else at its time and you know every time I get in one and drive one, it's just inspiring how much fun they are to drive and how far ahead of anything else. You know, if you drive a Jaguar of this vintage, you drive an Aston Martin of this vintage, it's a completely different driving experience. And, you know, every time we sell one to somebody uh, that's adding it to a collection, once they get to use it, in almost every case, they, you know, reach out to you and say, wow, I can't believe how drivable that car is. And that's probably the best thing about it. Does it look great? Yes. Uh, but the drivability, if you're going to get into a 65-year-old car, is what puts this above everything else. We love driving them and pretty much every owner that I've ever spoken to loves the 300 SL in their collection. This one is ready for sale. We're located in Victoria, British Columbia. 300 SLs are something that we concentrate on. We've sold over 70 of them now. Uh, whether it's a Gullwing or a Roadster, we're happy to reach out uh, with any information that you want on this specific car or any others that we have in stock. I, you know, currently we have three here sitting in our showroom. Uh, we've always got five to ten in stock in various stages of restoration. We're certainly thrilled with the finished product. Please reach out to us, use our website, email, Instagram we're very active on. Silver Arrow Cars is our Instagram account and uh, we're happy to reach out and help you through the process. and send you a due diligence file which will have all of the information that we've just gone through so that you can read through it methodically. We have a complete history of the car uh, as ownership and, uh, and the restoration photos and everything in a link and we'll share everything with you. Reach out if uh, you want to add this absolutely perfect 300SL to your collection.